Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com. In this video, I want to show you how to add a count up animation for your Unbounce landing page. So this is going to look something like this. I'm going to refresh the page and it's going to start counting up. Now you can adjust the numbers, you can adjust the time, so it doesn't have to take in this case eight seconds to get from zero to 349. I'm going to show you how to do all that. Let's head over into our handy dandy edit landing page where we have all these different tests here and we're going to create this countdown right here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is let's just add a little text box here saying, you know, this is how many people signed up or whatever you want it to be, right? This is how many people bought. This is how many people joined. This is how many countries there are, whatever you can do, whatever you want. And you can make as many of these countdowns as you want on the same page. It doesn't have to be just one. So we're going to select this. Let's drag it over here. Okay. So, um, yeah, it doesn't look super good, but it doesn't matter. So let's go in and drag this another text file. And this is going to be, or another text element, this is going to be our starting number. Okay. So in, in our case here, uh, we would not have put down 349. So in our case, I actually have zero here because it starts from zero to 349. So here you would enter the number that you want to start with in our case, zero. Okay, so we're going to enter zero here. We're going to center it, maybe make it a little bigger. Let's make it 72 or so. And now it's going to look like this. Okay, so it's just going to say zero. Now let's head over to this community on bounds page and let's grab some codes from here. We need to do two things. Okay, so the first thing is we need, we need to grab the code. So let's head over here. Let's copy this entire code. So I'm going to select that and copy it. Let's head back over here. Gonna head over to JavaScript, click on add new JavaScript. Here's everything we've done. So make sure to check out my playlist if you wanna know how to do any of these. But let's click on add new JavaScript. We're just gonna paste it here and let's name it count up animation. Okay. So what we can change here is this duration. Okay. So it doesn't have to be in this, it, it's in milliseconds. It doesn't have to be eight seconds. It can be higher, lower. You know, if we want to make it say four seconds, we would enter 4,000, right? So every, uh, every thousand is one second. Think of it that way. So we can do that. Everything else we can leave as is. We don't have to change anything. So we're, we're done here. Let's click done. We do have to do one more thing though. Let's head back over here. So we've added the number. Uh, what we have to do is add this little source code number there. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's click here and we have to copy that class equals counter data count equals okay so let's head back over here so we're gonna double click this text box we're, we're, we're gonna double click it click on view source and we have to add our uh our words right here so span class equals counter let's do that first span class equals counter in uh quotation marks data count equals uh and then this is your final number okay so we'll say data count equals, and then this is the number you want to go to. So for example, in their case is 20,000. In my example, it was 349. Let's make this, for example, 501, just a random number. And let's compare and make sure everything is correct. I don't believe we missed anything. And that is it. Okay. That is all you have to do. Let's click done. Let's click save. And let's just see what this is going to look like. So we're going to preview it. And let's scroll down and there you go. It started ticking. Now the clock starts ticking as soon as the page loads, not as soon as you um, scroll down. So if we go here to this page and we don't scroll and we wait four seconds, I'm talking, 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 talking. You scroll down, it is now at 501. Okay, so keep in mind the counter starts ticking when the page loads, okay? So only then it goes on. So just something for you to keep in mind. But that is it. That's how you do it. Nothing else to it. Pretty simple. I uh, hope this was helpful for you. Once again, if you want to see my other uh, Unbounce videos and other things we've done, we've done a bunch of cool little things here. Uh, you know, we've added, well, I guess I should, uh, I, I should show you in preview mode. Uh, but if you want to see them, check out my Unbounce playlist. I'll put it up above and you will learn how to do all these different things. If you click here, you'll see an image gallery. You know, all this stuff, all these angled bottoms, um, things like that. Uh, sliders. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.